What's up everyone? It is Drew here from Lone Fox and I have a cleaning video for you today. Like, yes, a cleaning video. You might be thinking to yourself, why do I want to watch you clean? But then I watched some cleaning videos and I realized the satisfaction you get from watching people clean is quite impressive. So today we are doing a clean with me, spring room refresh. I am so excited because today's video is sponsored by Dyson. Absolutely love Dyson. I've loved a lot of their products. I have a lot of their hair products. I have um, a vacuum from them. So this is just amazing. I'm really excited to be cleaning with the new Dyson. Dyson vacuum, which I'm going to share with you in just a couple of seconds now. Now, I don't exactly know how a uh, cleaning video progresses, so I guess we're just going to have to watch along, and let's just jump into it. Giving you guys the quickest overview of my room at the moment. Yes, I am an interior channel, and my room looks like this. Are you shook? I'm kind of shook, honestly, you guys. But don't worry, we're gonna get it all clean. I have just been so busy creating content lately and just working the most. I just haven't tidied up my space, so. First off, guys, put on a good playlist so you can get in the vibe. Um, I think it just motivates anyone to clean a little more if you are listening to music, because you're kind of distracted by the fact that you're actually having to clean. So, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna pull all the bedding off of my bed right now because it needs to be washed, and I always think that you should uh, wash something while you start cleaning, because you have laundry, you have towels, you have bedding, and it could just be washing and doing its thing while you're cleaning away. Today I'm starting off my cleaning using the brand new Dyson V11 vacuum, which is honestly such an insane new piece of technology, you guys. Like, my favorite feature about this machine, first off, is that it is completely cord-free, so you don't have to plug it in at all. I mean, you do have to plug it in to charge it, of course, but then you can actually walk around and use it wherever you want in your house. You don't have to feel restrained to certain areas. You can really just go freely wherever you want to, but my absolute favorite part about this vacuum is the different modes it has for cleaning. There are three total modes, which are Eco, Auto, and Boost. If you're curious, Eco mode is just for like everyday cleaning. Auto mode is great if you have different surfaces like carpets or hardwoods and then boost mode is recommended for like larger spills or more like ground in dirt. However, I typically like to keep my vacuum on auto mode because of the dynamic load sensing, which basically means that the vacuum can sense when it's on hardwoods or when it's on carpet and it adjusts the motor speed of the vacuum to the surface that you're actually vacuuming so it's more efficient and it saves more energy in the long run and you can literally hear the change from when you're going to different floor types from like carpet to hardwood. You can literally hear and also feel the vacuum kind of adjust its motor to work better on that surface. Not to mention the high torque cleaner head is perfect and suitable for all floor types and there's also a digital display screen that allows alerts such as filter washing, blockage detection, and low battery. Um, it's super nice because you don't have to actually like go and check in with customer service if you have a problem. It actually like kind of pops up a little prompt on the actual LCD and kind of shows you what's up and you can fix it without needing to go online or call customer service. I've owned one vacuum before and I could honestly say that this vacuum is absolutely amazingly and insanely crazy. Like it's such a great piece of technology and I'm so excited to be able to use it. I was able to pick up the most dirt ever in my room. Like it was actually disgusting, but I needed to show you guys the real truth about this because my room didn't even really look dirty. But if you are curious about this vacuum, you can go to Dyson.com for more information and I'll put the link in the description box below. So next up, I'm just starting off with my desk space. I really wanted to get this area clean because I do work here quite often. So I actually started by just taking everything off the desk completely. And my favorite tools to actually clean with when it comes to like actually full on like deep cleaning stuff is just some microfiber cloths. And I use a little bit of like a disinfecting spray or a household cleaner. Um, also always get your keyboard. Like your keyboards are gross. Everyone's keyboard's gross. Like I, mine is gross. So I need to do that. I wiped off my photos as well with some glass cleaner to give them a nice bit of shine and just get all that excess dust off and then I was able to go reassemble my entire desk again kind of putting it back to where it was I did move a little bit of the decor around a little bit just to like give it a fresh new feel but nothing too crazy I added a little bit here and there as well
Okay, so I've been working along. I've gotten the desk done and I've gotten the clothing rack done and I restyled my nightstand. I vacuumed all the floors with the Dyson, yes. So um, I've already gotten like a good third of my room done, but now I need to tackle this, which is everything in my bed. I've been piling just every single bit of like random buildup on my bed. So now is the time that I'm going to take all this buildup and hopefully store away. A lot of it is actually clothing, so I need to hang it up. I'm gonna put it in the closet so it has a space there and then just all the other random stuff. I need to see if I want to either get rid of things, if they are needed to be trashed or donated, or um, if I want to keep them. So I need to find a new home for them. Moving on to step number three, I am doing my bookshelf area and like my DIY supply section area. And this section for me is like a big part because a lot of the times these are more of my filming background spaces because my window does face towards these walls. So I try to make these look a little bit pretty and a little bit more presentable, but I also kind of have to use them as functional storage as well because I don't have that much storage in my room. So that is what I have here inside the wooden crate. I have a lot of my fashion show invites and random things. And then over here on the left side, the all these little drawers here actually house all of my DIY supplies. So I just pulled everything off of both of the surfaces, cleaned them all. I'm restyling this space just a tiny bit. A couple of books, um, some of my yarn to just have that exposed. I like the texture of it. This really, really fun and fresh clock that's on my top little shelf. And then just organizing my DIY supplies, making sure everything's in order and ready to go. And also don't forget about your mirrors, guys. Like everyone needs to have a good clean mirror for when you need to take a selfie. So just be prepared, clean off your mirrors, use some glass cleaner, get them nice and clean, and you're good to go. done but you know when you get to like that last 20 percent and you're just like probably leave that for the next day that's like at the stage i'm at right now so i'm taking a quick little break and laying on my bed and eating gum don't know why then i'm gonna get back to it i just have a tiny bit left and then the room is completely done i didn't do as much um decor or like new stuff as i wanted to um honestly because i was kind of focusing on cleaning absolutely everything and it took me such a long time to make sure everything was nice and good and fresh and clean but i did do a couple of like random adjustments to things i switched out my rack um i added some new decor to my um bookshelf and then my also my like diy supply area i added some new decor to that i reorganized all that stuff okay so i went to the store and i picked up two of these large hooks that are just like the kind of like stick on hooks that stick on the wall and these are five pounds each and then I got one rod that can easily kind of slide in to the actual hook so I'm gonna use this in attempts to hang up my curtains because I have had curtains for like literally I've had these curtains sitting in this basket for like over a year and I have not hung them up because originally what happened was I hung them and then they ripped out of the wall because I didn't anchor them in and then I tried anchoring them in and I really messed it up so I'm just not even gonna deal with this I'm just gonna try this little hook method and see how it works so
finishes off this video. My room is so spick and so span. I'm so happy about that because it hasn't been in quite a while. And today's video was just kind of like a fun little like clean with me if you want to. Something to just watch and uh, maybe get in the cleaning mode if you want to do so. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if it's something that you would like to see more of, give it a thumbs up. I can definitely do another one of these maybe in my living room or something. Maybe give a couple more tips and hacks out there. And also don't forget to check out the Dyson vacuum that I used, the V11. It is amazing. So in love with that product. I'll put the link in the description box below for any more information on that product for you guys. And I think that's about all for today. Have an amazing rest of your day. And lastly, before I go, um, don't forget to also subscribe to Lone Fox for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And you can also follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram for more behind the scenes type of stuff, um, polls and random things like that. So that's about all. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye guys. And I want to thank Dyson one more time so much for sponsoring today's video. And if you would like to get your very own Dyson vacuum, you can check out Dyson.com for more information and just find out all the details on the one that I used in today's video.